Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be setting up the brand new Villator Mali version 2.0 on our Android devices we'll be checking out what's exactly new in this update all the changes bug fixes and even gameplay test so before getting started the first thing you got to do is that you'll need to remove the previous version of Villator Mali from your Android device this is the first step once that has been done let me talk about the minimum requirements of Villator Mali Villator Mali is basically a fork version of Villator emulator especially for Mali GPU Android devices and it does not support any other processor including Snapdragon it only supports MediaTek Exynos Kirin and Unisoc processors so the latest version 2.0 of Winlater Mali was released last week and you'll be able to see added latest box 64 version added cube D3D D3D line wrapper has also been added along with that additional x86 and x64 visual packages new game presets have been added such as Silent Hill Skyrim tennis etc the latest Wine 9.2 has also been added and made default in Winlater Later Mali Glyphsy also game UX is disabled by default some games preset are updated and in this 2.0 update there are two builds the first one is Winlater P root build which is the fork version of original Winlater 8.0 revision 1 the second one is Winlater Glyphsy 4 for today's video I'll be testing out both the builds 2.0 P root by the way this is the Antutu benchmark build which means that full potential of your device should be utilized when you open it for the first time you just have to tap the first button now there is a reason why Winlater Mali is better than just using the Mali drivers which are provided in official win later the first thing is that you get custom presets that are specially created for Mali GPU Android devices you also get better performance than the official win later Android and here we go the setup is completed now we'll go to settings and afterwards select the latest box 64 version which is 0.3.1.5 this is a very new box 64 version we'll also choose the latest performance preset as well and then duplicate it afterwards set the safe flex level to zero you can also set the dynamic big block level to zero if you want best performance but it's not really recommended as it might cause some games to crash anyways once that has been done we can create a new container and you will notice that graphics driver version is supported by default and here make sure to choose the OpenGL version as 2.1 you can even go with 3.1 but by default the developer recommends you to go with 2.1 and in terms of DX wrapper we get Wine D3D and you can't really change the version of Wine D3D from here in terms of audio driver I'll select Pulse Audio afterwards let's scroll down GPU name is set to NVIDIA GeForce 9800 GT we'll keep it as default for now off screen rendering mode is set to FBO if you get black screen in few games you can change it to back buffer in terms of video memory size let it be as 2GB afterwards we'll just go ahead and open the advanced section here set the box 64 preset as the performance preset which we created afterwards startup selection as aggressive windows version keep it as windows 7 tick mark all the processor affinities and yeah that's about it we have successfully created our win later container now we'll just go ahead and tap on the run button and let's wait usually it doesn't really take that much time for this process to be done the device which i am using by the way is the redmi k50i with dimensity 8100 processor for those of you wondering with only 6 gb of ram so it definitely has a great processor but not enough ram well i forgot to do one thing this is very important step make sure to go to edit and set the screen size as 800 by 600 once that's done just go ahead and toggle full screen and let me zoom in so you guys can check it out a bit better the first step which you gotta do is tap on the start option afterwards go to the first option which is present right here now this is a very important step make sure to uh, tap on recommended files option because it will set up your win later mali this is the most important step so that your games work properly no matter which configuration you might be using this is very important process so make sure to complete it it usually takes about two to five minutes depending Depending on your device processor let's go guys almost everything has finished setting up now we'll also need to set up Microsoft HDF framework this is a new thing that has been added in will 2.0 so let's agree to terms afterwards tap on next then tap on this button and with the help of this DirectX 9 components will be automatically added because Mali GPUs only support DirectX 9 PC games unfortunately you guys can't use it to play GTA 5 but the good thing is you can use it to play games like Assassin's Creed GTA 4 and other old games like Just Cause 2 etc but anyways here we go let's tap on the finish button and finally the setup is now completed we'll tap on the ok button then go to 3d test let's just go ahead and try to see if our graphic is being rendered properly I'll open 3d cube and here we go as you guys can see 3d cube is being rendered properly which means that graphical output works without any issues let's close the 3d test let me show you guys the game presets as well because in 
will later Mali you get default custom game presets. The list of available games preset has increased by quite a lot. These are the officially supported games in Winlater Mali so that your game works properly. For example, EA Cricket 07, Driver San Francisco, oh my god, it brings back so many memories, Dead Space games, Call of Duty, and much more. Well, we won't be using the presets provided by the developers. We'll directly try out Grand Theft Auto 4 on our Android device. So let's just go ahead and select GTA 4 and launch it on our Mali GPU Android device to see how well does it actually work. Now, as you'll be able to see, GTA 4 is actually not starting and the entire uh, win later container has crashed now this is because we are not using a correct gpu name so this is very important step in win later mali you will need to make sure to tap on gpu name and if you want to play games like gta 4 you guys will need to set it to intel hd graphics 630 or uhd graphics 630 or even 620 i'll go with 630 for today's video let's start off by testing out our first game which is going to be grand theft auto y city funnily enough this was actually the first gta game that i ever played in my life let's just go ahead and tap on new game and this is just an experimentation uh i know gta y city is officially available on android and there is no reason for you to emulate it on a windows emulator for android but we just want to gain an insight about how well does win later mali perform in terms of emulating some low end old pc games so here we go our game has successfully started working and let's see we just got an unhandled exception error and even gta y city crashed so as we were getting some problems in the p root build i have switched to the win later glipsy version and now we get an option to choose graphics driver by default is the correct graphics driver and once again i have set the gpu name as in Intel UHD graphics 630 and everything else will be default. I'll just go ahead and create this container inside WinLater Mali Glipsy version. I'll set up this emulator too. And here we go, guys. This time in WinLater Glipsy version of WinLater Mali, GTA 4 has successfully started. Well, we'll just go ahead and enable virtual gamepad. And yeah, as usual, as you'll be able to see, the game is actually running. But last time, if you guys remember, then uh, unfortunately, my device had black screen graphics issue. I am not sure if it still persists or not and the winlater p root version did not work so i would recommend you guys to go with winlater glipsy version instead the proof is right here the game actually booted whereas previously the game was just not working the container was crashing here's the moment of truth starting a new game so we'll tap on the a button to skip through the cutscenes all right the game has started but once again as you'll be able to see the black screen issue still persists on my mali gpu android device this only happens to dimensity 8000 or above below that I I'm pretty sure that your game should give you graphical output but unfortunately for the higher end MediaTek processors you will just see a black screen I have tested it out with my OnePlus pad as well with Dimensity 9000 processor it also gets a black screen so low end Mali GPU Android devices will actually be able to enjoy the GTA 4 experience that was all about win later Mali 2.0 update do let me know in the comment section down below how well does it work on your Android devices I'll see you guys next time though thanks for watching peace out